he has panic attacks, depression, mild schizophrenia, and because, because of some cruel classmates, the nickname Psycho Sarah. But she's also funny and brilliant in the title character in Wesley King's new young adult novel, Sarah and the Search for Normal. You might recognize King's name from his previous bestseller, O.C. Daniel, or you might also recognize him for the series he was working on with Kobe Bryant. Wesley King is joining us this morning from Lake Echo, Nova Scotia. A pleasure to talk to you. Um, it's so great to see you. This book is a prequel to the bestseller, O.C. Daniel, which was about a boy with OCD. And you said you wrote that book for your 12-year-old self. So who are you writing this prequel for? for? Well, the same again in the sense. Um, this time I'm writing uh, a character who I wished I had had the chance to meet because Sarah is sort of going through a somewhat different journey. She's uh, going through the same sort of you know, mental distress that Daniel was, but she's finding her place and finding her new normalcy. And that's the message so many kids need as they're facing these types of challenges or seeing this in their siblings and family members. Well, let's talk about the main character, Sarah Malvern. She has bipolar disorder, as we said, anxiety, mild schizophrenia. And as the title suggests, she wants desperately uh, to be in a world to be viewed as normal. Talk to me about what normal means for Sarah. That's right. And that's sort of the challenge here is, you know, we sometimes look for others for what normal is and, and how to define it. Whereas this story is about how we redefine our own identities and how we define our own normal. So Sarah has to find what that means for her. And, and chasing this unrealistic expectation is contributing to her issues so finding that within the, the context of, of who she is and what she's dealing with is so vital to her finding happiness throughout the course of the story well so you describe panic attacks in here vividly and you've been open about your own mental health challenges you share at one point that you were having three to four panic attacks a day this is really resonating with young readers and what kind of feedback do you get from them it's been so gratifying. You know, I, I go to schools and festivals and events and kids come up and say, I've finally been diagnosed. I found myself in the story. This has opened a dialogue with my parents. Having, you know, seeing yourself in literature is, is an empowering thing and, and something that we're all taking into account more these days, thank, uh, thankfully. So giving these kids a voice and letting them see themselves and understand the people around them has, has been the most gratifying part of this whole process by far. Uh, mental illness and being honest about mental illness and the counterpoint of bullying is also a part of the book. Sarah's called Psycho Sarah by her classmates, bullied by them. What's the message here for anyone who might not be struggling with mental health challenges themselves, but might have a classmate who is? Yeah, and so this is really trying to inspire empathy and, and inclusivity in the way that we look at the people around us. And I think getting inside the head, seeing the internal dialogue of people suffering helps us understand a little bit more about what they're going through. And I think that sparks that empathy that we need. And uh, I've seen this this effect, you know, around the world of kids reading these books, and this type of this book in particular is that it leads to more understanding and helps them connect more, and, and that's so key for healing and moving forward. Uh, Wesley, we only have a few short seconds left, but before we let you go, you you had another book that was uh, out in March. It was part of a series you were writing with Kobe Bryant. How did you two get connected? Because I read you were out fishing, and your phone starts buzzing, and it was your agent saying Kobe wanted to work with you. Yeah, it was a, a very surreal, uh, very surreal moment. I, I was fishing in Nova Scotia and get a call um, that, that Kobe had read my books, uh, was a big fan, and, and wanted to dive into a partnership. And I flew down to L.A. and, and it sparked a great friendship and collaboration for four years. Um, and, and still very surreal, um, not having him here with us, but, but happy to see his words live on in the series. Wesley, uh, thank you for talking to us. Uh, the book is called Sarah and the Search for Normal. And may I just say, having been part of the Bell Let's Talk program for so many years, uh, it's so important that we make young people feel like they can talk about mental health issues, and your book is really helping with that. Really appreciate you being here today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up, your